What's up guys? First of all, I just want to say again, I hope everybody's healthy and safe and happy and I know it's really difficult for a lot of you who like normally leave the house. Business as usual over here. <laughs> I, I, I miss Target and the mall because I'm like five minutes from the mall too, but anyway. anyway. <laughs> so today's video, since I haven't done a favorites video in a while, I'm actually going to do a full face of my current favorites. That way you guys can kind of get a feel for all this stuff I bought over the last four months that I've been MIA. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a full face, like everything, just of like all of my favorite products. A lot of these are new products that I've kind of bought over the last couple of months. So yeah, let's do it. I do also have like a shit ton of skincare products and like body care, self care stuff that I can also do. Let me know, somebody, somebody let me know <laughs> if you guys wanna see that. I can do like a new skincare face favorites or whatever. So let me know and I will do that. Anyway, let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna pin my hair back first because this is, this is too much. I finally cut it and like did it and shout out to my cousin for hooking me up. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with sunscreen. This is actually new. It's from Supergoop. It's the Glow Screen SPF 40. I love this stuff. I am a huge advocate for sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen, children. It actually comes out like a skin tone color, but it has like a really nice, really intense glow. And I like that under my foundation, but I am gonna put primer on top. Anyway, next is primer. This is is actually from elf this is the matte putty primer this is like five bucks guys and this is like really nice it's not like super mattifying to where it makes me overproduce oil but it does like fill in the pores smooth me out and actually holds my makeup in place all day and I don't know why but lately my face has just felt so textured next I'm gonna go in with foundation this is actually also new this is from bite beauty it's the change maker supercharged micellar foundation I'm in the shade M90. I love this foundation. It's not dewy and it's not matte. And I love the packaging. It's just like a squeezy tube, which makes it like super easy. But I love how like skin like this looks. It looks super healthy on the skin. I'm not someone that wears a lot of foundation anyway, but I like how this looks. It doesn't look cakey. It just looks super skin like. It does have kind of a glow to it. And I just, I, li I like, I like it. I like it. <laughs> you know, it's funny because everybody's freaking out like, oh my God, now that we're quarantined and everything's closed, how am I going to get my nails done and my eyebrows done? And I never thought that being low maintenance would actually prepare me for something like this because I don't get my nails done. I do my own nails. <laughs> I don't get my eyebrows done. I do my own eyebrows. I don't have eyelash extensions or hair extensions or really anything. I, I don't do anything <laughs> and I'm glad I don't. <laughs> Next is consistency. Concealer. This is, I think this is new. This is from Cosas. Co Cosas? I don't know, but this is the concealer in the shade 7. And I just, I really like this one also because it looks really skin like, but I love the coverage of it. It's kind of a dewy er concealer, <laughs> but that coverage, I don't know why lately I haven't been able to sleep. I am up at like 2 30 in the morning, just, just up. <laughs> and it's not like I'm thinking about something like super important. I'm just thinking about dumb stuff like I wonder what kind of liquors I could mix with sparkling water that would taste good <laughs> anyway you can see the coverage is really nice but it's also like a very dewy concealer and I like I realize I have oily skin I don't necessarily want dew <laughs> but for some reason lately my skin has just felt really textured and I feel like when my whole face is really really matte it's even more noticeable anyway Next, I'm actually gonna go in. This is the Fenty Beauty Powder. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. This is actually the mini one that came with the mini highlighter or something like that. Or maybe it came with a stick. I can't remember. It was it was like a mini duo and I just wanted to try it and I didn't want to commit to the full, but I think I might now because I love this powder. I feel like it makes me look super smooth and it fills out all of my pores and there's a lot of them. Now I don't bake with this. I just set the important places so like under my eyes and the center of my face gotta get the eyelids too gotta get the eyelids because we are gonna do eyeshadow today I just love that it sets my makeup and it keeps my makeup in place while making me look so smooth but it doesn't look 
dry at all or too matte. I'm really into this pattern. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. And lately I've actually been loving this Cover FX Monochromatic Bronzer Duo, Matte and Shimmer. I'm using the shade Sunkissed Bronze and this is what it looks like. Oh, I just, this is so nice. It's actually really pigmented, but it blends out really nicely. Just need to go in with a light hand, just calm down. And I love the shade of it. It's not too warm. I wouldn't contour with this though, obviously. And it's not too pink, not too orange. I just, I just like it. It looks like I went out and got a tan, even though I haven't seen daylight in quite a while. <laughs> oh, I like that. For blush and highlight, I actually have this new palette from NARS. This is what this looks like. This is the Overless Cheek Palette. I feel like it looks different on camera than it does in person. It looks a lot paler under the lights, but they're just like really soft, bronzy, pinky colors. <laughs> I'm gonna take this color and a little of that color, and I'm gonna go ham. I actually like the formula of these because they're not matte. They're like satin, but they're not shimmery. And it just looks really nice on the skin. It makes me look really healthy, but I don't like, I don't look dewy or too shiny. It just, it just looks nice. <laughs> I just really like how that looks. I probably put way too much just now, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> anyway, for highlight, I'm actually gonna mix this and this. And again, it just, it sits so well on the skin. It's not this brush, try a different brush. It's not powdery. Like you stick your brush in here and it's like not at all powdery. Like there's no kick up, there's no like dust. <laughs> and it just looks like a sheen on the skin. It doesn't look like glittery. It looks super smooth. And I just, I love the texture of everything in this palette because of how smooth it looks on the skin without being like, like wet or dewy. They're not creams, they're definitely powders, but they just feel so nice. And I'm really into that like subtle glow right now I'm not into like metallic you know this is just it just looks like my skin is healthy you know <laughs> okay so for eyebrows I actually went to Ulta one day and saw that these were on sale and I didn't necessarily want it but it was on sale so and I actually ended up loving it so this is from Urban Decay this is the brow endowed on one side it has like a brow primer and then on the other side it has a color this is just like a brow gel so what I've been doing is actually putting this through my brows and either leaving that alone or I'll fill in just major sparse areas with a pencil so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna put the primer on first and then I'm gonna put the color on and I like this because the primer actually thickens the hairs that you already have so you don't need to go back and fill in with like a shit ton of product it actually like adheres to your uh brow hairs and it also helps to keep them in place and it is white but we're gonna go over it with color so you won't see that white tint on on the brows but i've been loving this just for like a natural feathered brow because come on now, I mean like where where are we going right now? And then I'm gonna go in with the color now. And you don't actually wanna drag this on your skin, you just wanna brush it through the brows because if you get it on your skin, it'll be like difficult to remove. This actually is extremely long wearing and once you get it on and it dries, it's not going anywhere. I think this is waterproof. I think like one of the claims are waterproof. I, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to check. And I'm in the color, by the way, what color is it? I'm in the color Neutral Nana. Then I've been using the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just gonna take this eyebrow pencil and fill in sparse, sparse, sparse areas. <laughs> and I mostly like this brow pencil for the color because it doesn't pull red on me. What color is this? This is medium brown. A lot of eyebrow pencils actually look really red on me and my hair is not warm at all. They're not twins, but whatever. Okay, so next we're actually gonna do eyes. For eyes, I'm actually gonna use, I've been obsessed with this since I got it. I bought this maybe last December. This is the Natasha Denona Safari palette. I, I, I love this palette. It's an all matte palette. All of these colors are matte, but I just feel like you can use this with anything. And the colors are just so pigmented, they're easy to blend, and I just, I, I have been loving this palette. So I'm actually gonna go in with 
um, 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 Amhara, Amhara, I don't know. It's this color right here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend this in my crease. I'm just gonna do an all matte look today. Then I'm gonna go in with Thorn and I'm just gonna deepen the outer corners. And then I'm just gonna go back with nothing on my brush and just blend that out. And then I'm gonna repeat the same steps just on my lower lash line. Then I'm just gonna take like a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this color, Aya, 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 I don't know. And I'm just gonna put this on my lid. Okay. So that's that. Again, the shadows are just so creamy. They're so pigmented. They blend really well, even though I suck at blending. Anyway, I'm really into that. The next thing, this is actually something I got in my boxy charm. I don't think this is full size. If it is, this is really little. Anyway, this is from Petite and Pretty. It's the Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. And it doesn't look like much, but like you can see like the bristles on it. It almost looks like the Better Than Sex or like the Milk Makeup Volumizing Mascara. I can't remember, I can't remember what it's called. But this makes my lashes look bomb. I'm always that girl that has just a gang of mascara on her lid. I can't help it. <laughs> It's so volumizing. It just makes my lashes look thick and long and it separates really nicely. Like it's just, it's nice. <laughs> anyway, I really love this mascara. Um, I should probably throw this out now though because it's a little dried up. <laughs> but I like, I like the drier formulas. I don't like my mascara to be like super wet because I feel like it doesn't thicken as much. Does that make sense? Anyway, the last thing, I probably should have done this after mascara, but whatever. I mean, I'm not going anywhere anyway. This is from NYX. This is the Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. So I'm gonna use this to set my makeup. And I don't know, I don't know what it is about this, but it just, it makes my makeup look like it does once I've been wearing it for a while. Like once it's broken in. I love the look of my makeup after I've worn it a couple of hours and it's kind of like settled into my skin a little bit more and that's what this does and I love it. It also has like a really fine mist, which I'm sure you saw. So it doesn't leave like huge drops of stuff on my face and it just makes my face look healthy. Anyway, the last thing is lips. And recently, in case you didn't know, all of the Fenty Beauty like bullet lipsticks, what are these called? This is Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipsticks. This is actually in the shade Freckle Fiesta. And I've been loving their, all of their lipsticks actually just recently went on sale and I bought a ton. <laughs> Anyway, I just love this color. I, I love any like orange lipstick, orange reds, orange nudes, orange. I just love how they look. And I love the formula of these. They are creamy when you put them on. They glide on, they don't tug, but they're matte. Anyway, I might, should I, let me try to put some gloss. This is also the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. This is in the Fenty Glow. That's my favorite gloss of like all time, ever. Those are my favorites. That's everything I've been loving. Let me let my hair down. Anyway, that's it. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that like body care, skin care favorites type thing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Subscribe and stay tuned. Uh, hey. <laughs> um, um, uh, um, 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 I am so rough. Why do I get red so easily? Um, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 I worked out twice and my back hurts. <laughs> what is going on over here? The Matt Mazwet, Matt, 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 Mazwet, Matt. This is the Fenty Beauty Matte Muswell. Matte Muswell? No. Oh, so pretty. I'm really into this. I need to get a blue shampoo. Oh, my legs are. I should probably start stretching. Um. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>